Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be going through how to solve max, which is one of week 3's practice problems. And so what are some of the learning goals for this practice problem? First, we want to learn how to pass an array into a function. And then we want to also learn how we can find the max value in an array. And uh, here we have some hints and I'll be following these hints when solving and attempting this practice problem. And so how is this program going to work? First, the user will be asked for the number of elements in this array. So for example, the number of elements is 3. Um, we will be prompting the user for the first element, then the second element, then the third element, and then among these three elements, our program is going to be calculating and looping through all of the uh, items in this array and finding what is the highest value in the array, right? So now let's get started. And so here we have the code. Um, in the beginning, we have some include header files, and then we have the function prototype for the function that we are going to be implementing. And then we have the main function. So in this main function, uh, in the beginning, we are asking the user for the number of elements. Then we are creating an array. Then we are looping through the number of elements entered by the user. And then we are storing what the user enters into each of the array items. Afterwards, we'll be printing the maximum value, which is in the array uh, by using the max function, right? So in the max function, we are passing in the entirety of the array. And then we are also passing in the number of elements in the array. So what is going to be the algorithm that we'll be using to find the maximum uh, value uh, in all of the ele elements in the array? If you guys take a look at my iPad, um, I'll be drawing out an example. So for example, the user says that the number of elements is 3. Right? So for example, 3. And then we create an array. And I'll just be using the example that they gave us, which is uh, 2, 10, and negative 1. So how are we going to find the maximum value? What we want to do is... As they mentioned here, we want to have a variable that is going to be tracking the maximum value. And here, as you guys can see, they mentioned that there are two ways to initialize this. You can start out by using the lowest possible value um, and so on. And the method that I'll be using is that, um, for example, we call our uh, max value variable is max underscore value. And this is going to be an integer. So this variable i'll be initializing this variable to be the very first index all right and then what we're gonna do is we'll be looping through the rest of the array elements if the value of the array elements that we'll be looping through in the later in the future gonna be higher than uh, the max value then we will be uh, changing the max value to be the max value that we have found uh, later on so how is this gonna actually look like so for example um, the array is 2, 4, 6, 1, 3, 5. So initially what we're going to do is max value is equals to 2. And then what we'll be doing is looping through all of the other elements in the array. And then we'll be checking if max value is smaller than, uh, for example, array i and then this array i is just going to be increasing as we are looping through the rest of the array and in this situation we see that oh yes 4 is in fact more than the max value so what we want to do is max value is equals to 4 now okay so now when we iterate through the rest of the array we are checking if um, the max value again once again is smaller than array i and in this situation, the array i is going to be 6. And we see that, oh, now 6 is in fact bigger than the max value. So now we will be doing max value equals to 6. And we won't actually be writing 4, we will just be writing array i. Okay, the current iteration of the loop. And here as well, we will be writing array i. Okay. And so uh, that's that. And then once again, we'll be checking if the max value is smaller than array i and as we can see one is not smaller than six so over here the max value is going to be six in this situation because 
after we see that oh there's another max value then we'll be substituting the max value with 4 or with 6 and so on so in this situation as we are iterating through the rest of the um, elements in the array we'll be saying oh one is not smaller uh, one is not bigger than the max value three is not bigger than the max value five is not bigger than the max value so this is the gist of how you'll be solving this uh, practice problem and the sort and the searching algorithm that we we are actually using is sort of like a linear search we are linearly iterating through all of the elements in the array and we are finding the maximum value okay and every time we see a value that is higher than the current maximum value we'll be updating the maximum value um, so that the maximum value is the highest value that we have seen so far all right so now if you guys don't get it don't worry after i write the code hopefully it's much more easier and simpler for you guys so int max value is equals to array zero okay we want to initially uh, be storing the max value to be array zero and then what we will be doing is for int uh, one for int i equals to one i less than n i plus plus why we are starting i from one is because uh, we are already we have already stored the max value to be array zero and we want to be starting to compare from uh, array index one okay so if max value is smaller than array i then we want the max value to be equals to array i because now we know that array i is in fact greater than the max value that we have found so far and we want to be updating the max value and at the end of this for loop we should successfully have found the highest value in all of the array elements and then we want to just be returning the max value all right so this should be the end of the code let me uh, just run a quick check 50 but before that let me uh, make max dot slash max and let me use the example they have given us here so for example the number of elements is four elements number one is negative 100 then we have negative 200 then we have negative 3 then we have negative 500 5000 sorry and as we can see the max value is negative 3 so so far um, it seems to be correct and let me just confirm by using check 50 all right so it seems to be correct if you guys enjoyed this video tap the like button and subscribe if you guys have any questions comment down below and i'll try my best to help you guys out and see you guys on the next video bye bye